welcome to day two of sick week. Usually, you know, by 9.45, we're just now either making a 9.34, it opened at 9, okay? So we didn't bother doing a pre-interview, like a day open, because typically we don't, like, get out of stuff early. I'm happy to say that before I did this interview, I ran my first pass, which you'll see after this, and it was my fastest and my quickest. We're doing a one and done. almost in the 440s and the 8th too so fastest and quickest eighth, right yeah, yeah. and so so it's just like killer yeah the 60 foot's the only thing that's a little slower in but it hiccup like you let off the oh, button yeah. and it coughed you see it kind of make a move up there high yeah. up anyways we're gonna pack up and uh, be done before like 11 I'm gonna go turn this in and we're actually gonna enjoy our day so stay tuned because today will probably be more of a fun cruising day and I'm really happy about this
Well, like he got there first, so he got the win, but she was ahead of him most of the way, and she jumped him at the hit. Yeah. He I was he did. was not lifting. Look at his car. His car is all the way up on the bars. Oh, it is. Watch this. Get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it's right. There's going to be a badass photo of Alex in front of wheel. him, and him just fucking <laughs> hanging him. Yeah, Steve's front wheels are that high, way half track, probably. She was really good, too. Her car rocked out. She gave it one more bump and yeah. stabbed the brakes. Perfect. It's perfect. Now, even for Ford Purist, ladies and gentlemen, I think I had I had goosebumps, but since my sweatshirt's on, they went away. But I had them, I promise. <laughs> six. So six ninety yeah. two oh six. One and done. But it was a fun pass. Seventeen-year-olds in the garage after school working on carburetors, especially Edelbrock carburetors. Um, we're slowly getting into tuning other cars, so I just have bought a '66 Fairlane. Hopefully, we get into so racing that. Quiz, um, it's pretty much just us hanging out. So I was like, what a great time for her to come to the drag show because she's 17, getting closer to like a car being ready. Maybe she can come to the track. So she came out to hang out with us today. It's so pretty exciting. We saw a lot of CMA and PRI. And you guys need to follow her. Check out her business because it's pretty dang cool. So, anyways, we're packing shoots, learning race car stuff, all that good stuff. <laughs> Salt. What is it? It's acid, right? 
What we decide it was? Battery acid. It's like battery acid. <laughs> it's like dried battery acid. Have you had one? My Give Ollie tired. a bite of yours. <laughs> Ollie will probably like it. I can imagine. It is a funky thing, isn't it? Alright. That's their candy. That's the candy to them. I mean, I got you one, but I figured oh, you got me I got one? him one also. I wasn't going to get you one without getting him one. Oh, thanks for the happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. I got you a heart. Oh, like a can? No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Now this is a it's a big deal to me. I'm really Chevy Bel Air, Resto Mod, super nice cars, a lot of fun to cruise. It's not behind me, but this is a couple more cars that they have. They have the Hellcat Jailbreak, um, and then this is also the Shelby GT500. Um, so that's just a couple of the cars. If you guys want to get double entries, use promo code Alex. Use the link below, go ahead, use the promo code Alex, get double the entries. Um, goes to a good cause. All for charity, 100% uh, tax write offable, and um, also they pay the taxes on the car. So, link below, code Alex. And now, let's get out of here. It's time to hit the road. I'm just gonna put in the thing just so I can see where it's at. Okay, Nolan. This is, yeah, this is recording. This is your. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> Anyways, this is Nolan's first time fully participating in Sick Week. I just love Sick Week. <laughs> I don't know if he's fully participating. I mean, what? He's very supportive. Don't I've, get me wrong. I sat on a gas can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> For Nolan, he's fully participating. He bailed on us on day two last year, I right? Had, I was super busy. Sure. I, I had to mow the lawn or something so, last year. <laughs> so what do you think about Sick Week? What's your review? Well, so first of all, Alex is always calling me out because I don't do the whole sick week with her, even though she does everything with us. So I promised her this year I would do the whole week. So I got here even a day early, and I'm staying a day later. So I'm embedded like a reporter with the team. It's fun. I like it a lot. The limit of devices has been reached. Please select and delete a device. Awesome. Then try again. What? This is the chaotic car. So we have Nick driving. Chaotic? A look at us. Did you hear us last night? Nicky Bobby. No. Mom I was... tried to kill us a few times. Oh, yes. Right True. Now. We have uh, Team Mom. We have Deb. Sure. And I didn't try to kill him. Yes, well, <laughs> not today. To not us. today. We had a couple of close. Exactly trying to keep us no. safe. That's what you're saying. No. Yes, but um, Nolan has kind of messed up because now he is our good luck charm. What did you do yesterday, Nolan? Okay, so I have a lucky penny that I found. And then when I was in St. Augustine last year, I made it, they would have a little thing where you roll them and they flatten the coin out, but I had a skull and bone, so I like skull and bones. So it's my lucky, lucky penny. And we rubbed it all over the car and on the hood, and she did her best pass ever. Today, the same thing. So now he has no. to come every drag and drive event of the yes, year. Yes, I will do that. Not a problem. Okay, good Team job. Team Misky family. Good job, official cam and, and team, lifters. Team Taylor. Team Taylor. He's Taylor Nolan. Gang or die. He's not Nolan Jamora. He's Nolan Taylor. Yeah, Nolan Taylor Jamora. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Racing. Game. Yes. And we're missing Scott Taylor, who was supposed to come and support his sister, but he got strep Search throat. Search your vehicle on your so. device and select it once Sorry, it is found. Sorry, I didn't know I was going to talk. <laughs> anyway. How does he tune? Sorry. <laughs> he can't even get the radio work. How does he tune? I don't. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>
Nick and Nolan. Okay, so since we actually have some time today, which is wild, yeah. weird, that's yeah. what one and this is what one and done feels like. We actually had lunch today. I know we had lunch at a sit down location, great Mexican restaurant. Um, so we are currently at the first checkpoint, first and only checkpoint, National Parks Department. National Parks Depot. 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 Department. Department sounds like a department yeah, store. Depot. No, I'm saying it sounds like a department store. Yeah, it does. This sounds like a train station. Yep. So um, we had no designated route. So we could have taken a sig uh, like a scenic route? Nope. We took the fast route. And that's how we're here, when it's still daylight. So this guy from Sweden just asked, he said, how'd you come, 75? I said, no, 80. He goes, oh, 80? And he looked funny. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said miles per hour. And he goes, oh, miles per hour. I said, yes, yeah, so 80, 80 on 75. 75. Yeah. yeah. So we've been cruising. The 55 is happiest at 75 to 200, somewhere in that range. Yeah. <laughs> it likes it all. It does. Just not anything a little slower. Um, it's driving really good. It's actually been a really, it's a really comfortable car. Puts me to sleep. It almost puts me to sleep. Which is I know, that's why I have to stay awake to keep you awake. But we got the rugged red radios and jamming and everything, so it's good. Um, but we have two hours ahead of us to the hotel, which isn't too bad. Nope, it'll be just barely after dark, and that's a first in a long time. We can even go get dinner. Yeah, we are. So Alana Shear. Um, you guys might know her from, she used to work at Hot Rod, she works at uh, Car and Driver now, she does lots of stuff. She said the way you measure success, and you wouldn't know this if you've not done a drag and drive, the way you measure success of a drag and drive is the amount of food and type of food and the location at which you're eating at. And how much sleep. Well, yeah, but the restaurant thing really makes sense. She's like, if you're doing a sit down meal, you're having a good week. If you're a gas station food, eh, could be better. And if you're not eating, that's typical. Yeah, you're, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. We've done it. We've eaten out of the trunk many times. Yeah, so anyways, as you can see, we're standing by the trailer, not just because it's a scenic background, but because you built this last year before race week. Yep. Um, and it took like a year for people to notice how pretty darn cool the trailer is. Yeah, it's getting a lot of publicity or attention or pictures or all of the above right now. Yeah, so. Um, 1320 said that they were probably going to do a welcome to my crib uh, trailer tour, but we figured we'd at least give you a preview to that. How long did it take to build? I don't know. Way too long. Way too long. Well, it. see, it was already a trailer. There's a bar in here. From this point down is our old trailer, and I added six inches to each side and then two foot to the top. So I had something to start with, and it still took too long. It was. So starting here, this is our side with consumables. It's not quite as organized looking, but it actually is organized, especially compared to like what was before with like totes and buckets and just boxes, boxes of bleh, bleh. Yeah, if you needed a spark plug, you had to unload all the totes out of the trailer from the top because the door is open yeah. from the top and it was probably the very bottom. You had to pull the tires off the top. It was just a nightmare. So starting here, we have consumables. We have all of our electric stuff, um, spare sensors, wiring stuff, lots of flashlights because we're usually the last ones out of the track, but not, not today. today, not today. Um, we've got- We have hair holder here. Yeah, that catches me every time. Yeah. We have our street and race plugs with our actual plug holders, so that way when we pull plugs, we can read them. Nice weather station, oil filters. Sandpapers, brushes, I mean, all this stuff, you can't imagine how many people come. Do you have safety wire? Do you have a piece of sandpaper? We have pretty much everything. So then, if you look back here, this is where my suitcase is. Dad's is in the car, but we have, I'm just gonna show you how good this pack is. It doesn't look good, but trust me, it is. We have a whole bolt bin here. 
That was a high demand, right? Last it time. was last year, and we haven't sold one bolt this year. Sold it for free, free 99. Um, but yeah, so last year, everybody came up to Dad and was like, do you guys have a random bolt? And he came prepared for everybody else this year. Um, we have a third member in there, just in case. We have the not so reliable transmission, new transmission. New transmission. Um, so can you imagine all that stuff tucked in one tiny spot? And there's a whole lot more than that. There is, so, but we're gonna go around, we're gonna go around. So then over here, this is maybe my favorite, one of my favorite racks, just cause it's cool. Oh, wait, wait, it's got a car that looks kind of like yours on there. So, oh wait, it's even got your name on it. <laughs> So Pennzoil uh, made some custom bottoms, bottles for our custom blend Pennzoil that came in 55 gallon drums. So it's pretty cool, just, a, just cool, pretty neat, pretty neat. So then coming back here, we have our race tires tucked away. Cause you hated having to pull, actually let me rephrase that. You loved having to pull off tires and roll them into the motel every night, right? We did, we would, they were strapped on top with ratchet straps. And if you needed in the trailer, you had to take them off. It was a pain. So also at night, I wasn't gonna leave double bead lock 16 by 16 sitting out in the parking lot so I'd take them into the room with me. Yeah. So. That was a pain. Now they stay here. This um, table right here, I don't think you can get a piece of paper between that and the top, but I've got it fit nicely. All of my suit stuff, you pull this out right here. You've got two jacks. That's our po jacks because we don't have pro jacks. Two Harbor Freight jacks to jack the car up, a tent, a fuel pump, uh, a stand light, all that good stuff. Put that guy back up there. Okay, under here, we've got a lot more stuff. It's gonna be hard to see and I'm not pulling it out because I don't wanna repack it. So we have a generator here. We have our big compressor here. We've got two boxes of parts, miscellaneous stuff, uh, all kinds of spare, spare stuff. Uh, everything from valves and gasket, head gaskets to water pump gaskets, you name it, it's in there. Lifters and all that. All that. Um, when we drive, we have to have a place to put our chutes. Those take up a lot of room. They do. Those chutes are, we almost need to make a, another compartment. I like that. Just for them. Put them on top, like a knot on. Yeah, I like that. So we might need to do something with that because that takes a lot of room. Uh, a fire extinguisher, just in case. Spare CO2 bottle battery charger and then hang on this is the best part are you ready what drum roll the best <laughs> side oh yeah it's the best uh, side it's the best side it's like you come around the corner and you see a pretty mountain oh look at that organization so we had a lot of comments those aren't going to ride there that's never going to work guess what everything rides but look at this even this one it can just flop it's still there i didn't put it back up there so we went on a major harbor freight shopping spree yep i went and just got every tool there's a couple things in here that come out but for the most part this stays packed all the time so we went and picked out a bunch of tools and then um dad built the racks and organized them like that and it's great it makes it so much better it's just like having a snap-on toolbox. You just open it up and there's all your tools. All so, our Milwaukee stuff's there, an ice chest. We even have an ice chest with yeah. drinks in there. Yeah, and before, yeah. We just starved. I've, uh, I've actually, on Drag Week, been without money and so thirsty, I almost passed out. And Michelle Berry came along and bought me a drink. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't have time to go find, find money. Wallet. Yeah. Yep. So it's really nice and these tools, like not having to pack tools before a race makes the race 10 times better. It does. It's just miserable. Maybe like, 20 or 30 times. Yeah. And uh, before, like when we would actually get to the race and we'd have all of our tools nicely organized in all these like different boxes, the day you get there, you have to take a table out, set six different boxes up, sort and shuffle and all this, can't find anything. And then when it comes time to pack, it takes hours to pack. So yeah, it really sucks. This is great. So we just close the door and go, but there's another thing that we probably ought to look at. People ask this all the time. Do you have to take the wheelie bars off? Well, as you can see, no, we just like, set the world on fire getting here 80 miles an hour and that's the way it rides right there trailer hitch is above the wheelie bars and they they will hit if you're going in a steep driveway we've had them catch a couple times up on this little knot right here which is what i support the trailer with but you know what's it do scratches the paint that's it no big deal yep. matches this scratch 
in that scratch and, and yeah, that one. Scratch paint. So anyways, um, we are going to probably go ahead and get on the road. I actually, speaking of being thirsty, I'm very thirsty at the moment. I could go for a drink um, and a gas station. Told the 55 yesterday that if it was good and behaved well, we'd fill it up with premium gas. It's telling me it's thirsty again, so. It's not real thirsty, it still has 60%, it's, but. It wants a fresh refreshment, okay? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so we're going to the gas station, we're gonna get out of here. We have two blobs sitting on the uh, grass right now, waiting. Two billy bobs? Two blobs. Oh, blobs, okay. Blobs, and then mom is being mom. Greg and his brother is, uh, there's Greg, I don't see Greg's brother. Oh, you're standing right beside him. Is the glasses. There he is. So we're all gonna get back on the road and actually get there at a decent time. Knock on wood. Day three of sick week. So yesterday was a one and done, 690, 206, went back out. I still think my biggest excitement is that I think we finally found our issue that we've been chasing for a year. And yesterday kind of helped to prove that. Yep, um, absolutely. So we made it to Valdosta last night at a decent time, early enough to get dinner. That was two real meals in a day. I don't think we've done that more than a couple times. And like usually it's because like we broke, so we had to put the car in the trailer and we're just cruising around or something. Even last year, when we couldn't finish the week here with Joe Barry, we still were getting to the hotels late because... Yeah, just hanging around and talking and yeah. stuff. We just, I made it a, a point yesterday, I'm rushing you like... It's driving me nuts. Dad was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, Dad, we got all day. He's like, but I want to get to the hotel, let's go. I was looking forward to dinner. And a good parking spot. And we got two. We got both of them. Him and his parking. Like when we go anywhere, SEMA, PRI, That's any hotel, I need to get parked. I'm like, well, what are you going to do when you get parked? Nothing. Okay, well, what do you want to do? I want to get parked. I'm like, okay. She's making that simple. The problem with being the last one in is you're going to be the guy parked in the ditch down there about a mile away. So I like to be up front. I like to be in the back of the bus, but up front in my parking. <laughs> More of the wing of personality. Anyway, Dang. no, it's not a bad thing. I'm just like, I'll figure it out when I get there, but that's not necessarily yeah, the best I thing. Anyways, um, so we have gone through and put the street tires on, or the race tires on, the slicks, uh, parachutes, put the uh, race plugs back in. We're actually running the same plugs as yesterday, because uh, yesterday was a no, one and done. We only had a pass on them. Yep. Um, went through and checked the lash on the valves. All was perfect. Isky for the win. Solid roller and everything. Um, they're running C group cars today instead of A group first, which is pretty good. So we got a little bit of time. We're not in such a rush. Um, but we're pretty much ready to drop it down. Got to put the belt on the fuel pump and flip a couple valves, turn a switch off back in the back. I think we're ready to fire it up. And uh, hopefully today is another one and done. I don't want to jinx myself. I don't even like talking about it. I don't even it. like saying it. I don't either. It, like, gross, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. So. And I'm going to plan for the worst, hope for the best. So hopefully the main thing is we walk away today with the same, you know, the problem still fixed. That's my biggest thing. As long as the car doesn't go off and shut off, I'll be happy. We thought it was fixed before. Exactly. That's why I'm like, that's why I just wanted to, that's my biggest thing right now. So yeah, I don't want to jinx ourselves. We need some wood. Yeah. Uh, Nolan, not bring here. your head I here. He uses his head. It's hard headed enough. That's like hardwood. Okay. Anyways, um, I think that's it. So get it ready. And uh, also, I decided I'm not a daily, I'm not a daily YouTuber. No. <laughs> so if you want to watch, which by the time you see this, this will already be way past. Uh, but if you want to go back, you can watch Nick's because those were from daily. But it doesn't matter at this point. But anyways. Yeah, we don't know yet what's going to happen with the rest <laughs> of the week. It's true. They might by time. They yeah. see this, we see don't this. know. <laughs> see, they know something we don't know. You guys actually do. Right now, as you're watching this, you know something that we don't know at this time of this video. Yeah, yeah what the rest of the week has in store for us. Are they basically seeing the future? They are. That's only if they watch my videos. Uh, I wonder what happened if you put that camera in a microwave. It'd probably explode. Would it go back in time? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're seeing the future, so. They're time travel. Guys, yeah, I think we're getting too deep. They're gonna try that. 
We need to simplify here. Uh, car on ground, car in lane, car make pass, and then we can talk about the rest. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at wheel slip, and Dennis brought it up also that he might want to add a pound or two of boost out back. So we looked at the wheel slip on here, and at the second gear shift on, she has less than eight at the shift, and then it goes down after the shift. So she has almost zero wheel slip whatsoever out back. And from the two, three shift to the finish line, she has like three and a half seconds where you can add more power. So she's at 38 pounds of boost now. 48 pounds of dome pressure. So that's 1.2 pounds of dome per pound of boost. Yes. So we added three pounds of dome pressure. Assuming that it's linear. So that should make two more pounds of boost. Put us at 41 pounds of boost for another another three two pounds of boost for three and a half seconds should hopefully get us in the 680s yeah. because. I mean, you think three and a half seconds, that's a long time to make more power, but a lot of your ET is 3.30 and before. So it may not make a difference. But we don't want to mess with the 3.30 right now because it's going so well and we just don't want to, we don't want to upset it or anything it's like that. It's one of those things, like, it's not the time to test that. Like, I think it'll yeah. definitely, like, there's more left in it for We're sure. We're going to get after it Friday it's on pass number two. If we can do another one and done, if, yeah. uh, if we could just chip, chip a little off the stone, and go 680s and make a clean hit, then that's all we want. So we're going to put this in, and then put the car on the ground, and then go get in the lanes. They're running C-Class first instead of A group, which is actually nice. Um, and then I think we're about probably 10 minutes from being called up, so... Perfect. I'm done here. I'm done Come talking. On. here and I just got flashbacks was when I raced the Bumblebee Pro Mod um, which was like one of the coolest experiences I've ever had but I just got it when I was like pulling off I'm like man the only time I've been at this track was with Bumblebee so anyways kind of funny so hopefully today is a good pass too I always assume the worst 
first. I'm like, well, it felt good, but it's probably like a seven. So I still don't know. Lit up 649. Everybody's like, What? No, six, no. triple nine. You know what? It's still six. It's, 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 we lost it to 60. Yeah, it didn't sound like it left on enough food. Well, it kind of like it's like, and I was like, No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a 12260. I had two of the six. Damn. Yeah. Three. It might just be the different air. All right, so these are videos you've already seen, but without sound, because Meg forgot her microphone wasn't working. That's Nolan rubbing his lucky penny on the hood for good luck, and this is me about to make that pass that you already saw. Bump in, launch, yay! Good times, Meg left her camera on. Anyways, moving on. So this is Dad and Nick debating, did she run a 649? There's no way she ran a 649. She ran a 699, and her popped. Anyways, six is a six, let's go. This is Steve, like, it ran a 649? Everybody was really confused, but to be fair, it really did look like a 649. This is dad talking about, this is me pulling in. Yay! This is me saying 6999. Barely a six, but there we go. Anyways, I was excited. Three sixes is good. Well, we don't like that number, but we'll fix that tomorrow. Anyways, it's a good start. Um, so here, this is the celebration rounds with all of the friends and family. We've got Nolan and Greg and everybody. Let's see, who do we got here? No, that's me rambling like I usually do after a pass. This is me again saying 6999, but uh, it's barely a 6, but it's still counted. Anyways, check this out. So on the drive, we cracked these turbo mounts, and then that caused it on that pass to crack the collector, which is why we were down on boost. But high five, because we still ran a 6. Anyways, we can fix that. All we need to do is find a welder. Am I talking fast? Okay, that's how it feels in real life as well. Yay. Next. Good job, Rick. Here we're talking to some friends that we met at the track. This little girl has a Mustang, which is on the front of her car, or on the front of her shirt. Super cute. So we talked about race cars, showed her my race car. She told me about hers. Yay, more celebrating before we go to work. Take pictures of time slip. Anyway, so here we got a portable welder over with the guy that has a portable car hoist. Getting a welder that worked was quite quite a task uh, but anyways we had already turned in our time slip even though we were in impound turned the time slip in so it's totally legal to work on the car um anyways dad's welding it up okay meg forgot to turn the camera off again so dad's welding up there and then sanding trying to get it to stick he was really having trouble because the welder just was not cooperating so this was quite the process we ended up getting a different welder we borrowed it from some other guys in impound but used the portable car hoist gas so this guy's super nice he's the one that has the portable car hoist you've seen the car on it quite a bit at like rocky mountain race week and such megan come on with the camera silly girl anyway so dad gets back to it now he is welding on the collector itself and we're just about fixed back in action and created a windshield anyways we're getting close to having sound so after this we were able to get back on the road i hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover more than i did but we'll be back for more all right so we are at our first gas station which is like a mile down from it hey don't walk away so this is our austrian thomas tashna um we got some more Sick weekers here, so you feel pretty cool getting to cruise in America? Yeah, first time with my own car over here, it's amazing. Pretty Having cool. all these badass cars around my junk. Your NASCAR, your, what do you call it? NASCAR Caprice. NAS Caprice. It's pretty so sweet. he's still got, um, he has his Austrian plates on here, which he did get stopped by the cops yesterday. Yeah. However, they were able to run his plate. He's totally legal, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. And check that out peak performance is sponsoring sick Ward, so you got a pretty cool logo up there pretty nice In so Austria, you got your 
We're getting ready to go put some miles down. Today's a pretty short drive, so it should be good. It's about to get it. All right, guys, and that is a wrap on day two and three of Sick Week. I know it's taking a little while to get it out there, but this is honestly one of my favorite videos I've actually edited in a while. I just had fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Um, one more Sick Week video after this, but there is going to be tons of content coming out because we're doing the Iski car, which you've probably seen. Um, if you haven't, go check that out. So we'll be building or recreating Ed Iskandarian's 23T that he built when he was 17. So we're doing it to celebrate 75th year of Iski Camps. So tons of stuff coming out with that. Um, there's going to be lots of racing still sprinkled in. So lots coming up. But bear with me because the channel is going to be kind of all over the place. But I think you guys are going to like it. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. So at the end of this video, after those two checkpoints, uh, we just stopped at the KSR. That was the second checkpoint. I guess I didn't actually get any video in his shop, but um, we left and then got not too far down the road and overheated, but we still made it. Uh, we figured out our electric fans weren't coming on, but we still made it in an early, timely manner. Got a good parking spot, as you guys know now, that is very important to dad. And we even went and got a good dinner, Texas Roadhouse. So that's it. Uh, stay tuned, because like I said, lots to come, but thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys next time.